Uh, question number 13, 2012 of KCSE Mathematics, paper 1. We are told a line L passes through point 3, 1 and is perpendicular to line 2y is equals to 4x plus 5. Determine the equation of line L. Now, for you to be able to do this, you, ha you must uh, first of all know the relationship between perpendicular lines and then from there, uh, you should know how to get the equation of a line given a point and its gradient. Uh, so for a perpendicular line, the product of their gradient is equal to 1. So for example, you can say if two lines are whose gradient, uh, two lines are perpendicular, the product of the, their gradient is always equal to minus 1. Uh, so we can use the sec the, 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 this other line to determine the gradient of this other uh, line. So we can say uh, a 2y is equal to uh, 4mx plus 5. You have to uh, write this equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, where m is a gradient, c is a y-intercept. So we can divide through out by 2, uh, divide by 2. Uh, so this means that this 2 will divide by that, this will divide by that, this is 2. So we have y is equals to 2x uh, plus 5 over 2. Uh, so we can, we now, the gradient of this line is equals to 2. So the value which you can multiply by 2 uh, if we say this is the gradient of line 1, the gradient of line 2 is equal to minus a half. Why? Because if you multiply 2 multiply by minus a half, that will give you, uh, this is 1, that will give you minus 1. So the gradient of the other line is that, and uh, it passes through the point uh, 3, 1, which we have been given here. Now with that, we can get the gradient. You can get the gradient of this line, and use it to uh, to get the the equation. So we take an a point, an arbitrary point or an imaginary point x y, and we say we can use this point and this one to get the gradient. So we say y minus uh, this will be y minus three divide not three but. Uh, 1, y is 1, divided by x minus 3 should be equals to the gradient which is minus a half. So we cross multiply, we say y minus 1, this implies that y minus 1 is equals to multiply x times a half, it is minus a half x, multiply minus 3 times minus a half, that will give you plus 3 over 2. Uh, we take 1 to the other side, we have y is equal, it becomes positive. This is one, uh, one and a half plus one, that will give you two and a half. So we say it is minus a half x, uh, uh, this is plus uh, two and a half, two and a half is the same as, you can write it as two and a half, or you can say it is five over two, whichever you choose. But you be better, this appears better. So we say it is five over two. Uh, so you notice that the gradient of this line is the same as we have here. So that's how you get the equation of uh, this other line uh, whose, uh, which passes through 3, 1. And by doing that, uh, you get 3 marks. However, you don't need to write all that. Uh, I've done that because of uh, explaining how to go about it so that you understand how to do such kind of questions.